Hey guys, welcome back to another week of our video lessons. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. I also hope you guys had a good Mother's Day last week. Um, so this lesson, I don't really have a craft. I don't really have like a review question page. It's all kind of in the same. I was able to find a activity packet that went along with this lesson that I found. And it actually is really cool. It has a couple a crossword, uh, cro uh, word search. It's also got just different activities and different kind of little paper games you can do as well as a coloring page. And then on the very last part of it, it has a multiple choice review. So I was going to use that as our participation for this week. So if you guys want to take a look at that, um, fill it out. It's just because it's multiple choice. It shouldn't be anything too hard for you guys. I'm sure you guys will understand and get it. No problem. So if you just want to send a picture of that in for your participation, that would be great. So this week, we're kind of doing our lesson on the vine and the branches. But before I get started, I was really hoping to use my lamp today. I just thought maybe it'd be a little bit nicer to add a little bit more light to the screen, but I just can't get it to work. I mean, I've got it right here, and I've been trying to turn it on, turn it off. I even tried to screw the light bulb, but nothing, nothing seems to really work, and I'm not really sure why. Do you guys have any idea why my light may not be working? Hmm, do you guys notice this little thing sitting over here? Where does that need to be? In the outlet, right? And I don't have it plugged in yet. So give me one moment. Let's plug it in. Let's see if it fixes it. Alright. So I got it plugged in. Do you think it'll work now? Oh, it sure does. Isn't it amazing how much better it works when you plug it in? It's pretty hard for a lamp to give off light if it's not plugged into the power source, isn't it? Well, actually, I wouldn't say it's just hard. I'd say it's pretty impossible. In our Bible lesson today, Jesus told his disciples a story to teach them about the importance of staying connected to him. Now, of course, they didn't use the lamp like I did because electricity hadn't been invented yet. But he did use something that they you know, would relate to. He used the vine and the branches. And you know what a vine is, right? It's a plant that has a lot of branches that usually produce fruit. Now, what happens to one of those vines if it were to break off or um, get a little disconnected? It wouldn't produce any fruit, right? And then what would it do? It'd dry up. And what are they good for after that? Not much. It would just be maybe for firewood, and that's it. And Jesus said that I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will have much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus wants us to produce a lot of fruit, good fruit. He wants us to be kind, generous, caring, and faithful to him. And most of all, he wants us to love others as he loves us. Can we do that on their own? No, I don't think so. I mean, we could try our hardest, but without God, we won't be able to do what he wants us to do. So just like the lamp must be plugged in before the light can shine, and like the branches must be connected to the vine to bear fruit, we need to stay connected to Jesus so we can bear the fruit that God wants us to. And that's very important. Because like we said before with the vine, if it gets the branches get a little broken off or get a little separated, they die and mother up. And that's something that can happen to us too. We can, you know, as Christians, we cannot be good Christians anymore. We can kind of become dry and we won't produce the good fruit of God's work anymore. And that's something that we really, we really don't want to do. So I challenge you guys today to kind of think about that and kind of think about um, what you're doing in your life. And hopefully you stay connected like the lamp or like the vines to the branches. So I'm going to say a little quick prayer and then I think we'll be done for the day. And dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for everything you do for all of us all the time. We know you have a watchful eye over us no matter what we do, and we pray that you help us keep us connected just like the lamp and like the vines and the branches. We hope that we can stay connected in you so we can grow and produce the fruit that you want of us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, like I said, I got that little activity packet, Bolton. I'm not, it's kind of like a... It folds in itself as a little booklet. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. 
and we'll see you next week.